So here, as much as uh, members should be allowed, so members should be able to see uh, everything and be able to post. But it depends on what type of group it is. If, for example, it's a it's a public group, they can read the comments, they can read the posts, but they won't be able to actually make a comment, etc., etc. So, how do we differentiate that? So, this is where the accessing uh, comes in here. So, for the posts. Let me go back to group.php. So exactly what we did here. So I'm going to copy all this, copy that. And then I will go into the default here, content default, group content default. So I want to only give access to posting when somebody is actually a, a member. So let's come back here to functions. So I'm going to say if access, so if the access is equal to, let's say member, we want to just return true for all mem for everyone. And then let's repeat ourselves here. And move this here and put an else statement there. Else if access is equal to, actually, wait a minute. This is not what we should be looking for. So what we should be looking for is the group type. So let me say group underscore type is equal to. So let's start with a public group. Then we're going to increase our security as we go. So if group type, that's what we should be looking for here. Access shouldn't matter here. So if group type is equal to public, let's see, private group, and this one is public. I think those will just be the two that we use. Yeah, so it's a private group, it's a public, so you can put your own here and just keep extending as much as you want. Then you put different conditions depending on what they are. So if group type is public, we're going to be here. So if the group type is public, what I want is to return true. Uh -huh. All right, so here, uh, true, and the axis there, okay, great. So let's do a bit of combinations here. So first of all, we want to check if the person is admin or if the person is, uh, let's see here for a second. So the three things we are looking for are admin, moderator, and then we are looking for member. And then we are looking for none member. So I think these are all the possible uh, combinations here. So one can be an admin where they have the right to edit things about the group entirely. One can be a moderator where they are just allowed to delete posts and so on. Just delete or edit posts but they can't change things about the group. And then there are members. The members can only post, that's all they do. And then non-members can only read the content. So these are the access levels we're going to have here. So we want to put uh, uh, combinations of these in the if statement so that we can combine private and public with all of these here. So. We are going to say if access is equal to so if access is equal to admin and actually 
for the admin it doesn't really matter the type of um, the type of group it is because for as long as your access is admin you have certain privileges so i think here we're just going to say uh none member actually this is when it matters so if access is equal to none member and group type is private we return false and then if the group type is public and you are none member so let's see this here so if access is none member and the group type is public so we return uh, true here wait none member public okay we return true there and what else what else what else let's do an else here now if access is admin hmm i think there is a way to simplify this anyway this is just for demonstrative purposes here uh, we are going to simplify this a little bit further so if you're admin like this then return true so the only time it's false is when the non-member and the thing is private okay so that's fine now let's go back to our table here and let me edit let me go to browse i want to edit this group table and here in the last name or not the last name actually the group type i want to name this one as a public group so let me save that okay so our group is public and here it won't matter when you're an admin it's just going to return true okay but if the access is non-member and the group type is public then we get that okay so let's grab the group type right now so instead of uh, having to put the group ID here, we can just put the group data itself. That way we don't have to read the group data from the database again. So I'm going to change that to group data. So go back to group here where we are sending this and remove that user part like that and we are good to go. So let me come back here again to the function. So I'm going to say group data group type is equal to group data group type okay so this is good now so group type is public we know and this person is a non-member and so we'll get a true there okay so let me come back here hopefully this is not too confusing but the idea here though is to have uh, several variables for all possible uh, possibilities of these but none member is really not not a thing so i think let's get these first so what i will do here is let me put these guys as variables so i will do this that and that and put some s's here at the very end so what we want to do is collect the admins, the moderators, and the members. So if the question here is that if access is equal to, I think let's forget about non-member for now. Let me do this for a second. So what we're going to do is just at the very end, it's always a good idea to return false in case any of these things at the top fail. So we get a false result. So if the, let me go right here and say is equal to array. So that we set all of these guys to empty arrays to start with.
Okay, yeah, this can get a little bit confusing, but uh, bear with me here. Okay, so admins is equal to empty, members is equal to empty, and so on. So now what we want to do is, if access, if access is equal to, let's try uh, admins for example, or let's try member here. If this is equal to member, so we want to return all the members, I think for now, Let's forget about the group type. Just this is enough. So if access is equal to, we have to equate it there and not just put a single equal sign, otherwise we'll have problems. So how do we know uh, who are the members? So to start with, inside group data here, we have the owner of this thing, which who is the in the uh, owner column, right? So right here where we have, that, that owner is part of an admin. He's also part of the moderators. He's also part of the members. But before we go any further with this function, let's create a table because we will need to read from the table in order to make our decisions here. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so let's go to our table here and I will create a new table. Finally, we do create a new table. So click on new. And here I'm going to say, um, you can call it anything you want, but for us, we're going to call it group members. Okay, so we'll have an ID there. And then we'll have a user ID. User ID, and then we'll have group ID. And then we will have um, row. And let's add one more here. How I add one more right there. Disabled. Okay, so let me explain uh, why we have all this. So we need to know who belongs to which group and what role they play. So here we'll have Let's say we have John with this specific user ID and then John, it will mention what group John belongs to and what role they play. Now disabled is for when you want to disable that user, you remove them from the list. Now the reason uh, we just don't delete the user from there is because sometimes you may add someone and then add them again. You know, you, you may remove someone and then decide to add them back. So in a situation like that, we're going to be deleting records and then uh, putting them back again. Now, if you can avoid it, uh, it's always a good idea to not delete records. Just disable them and enable them because every time you delete a record, the, index, the indices or the indexes have to refresh themselves to mark the new situation. So if you delete a lot of rows at one time, it becomes a problem if your database is quite big because it will have to reset the index indexes all the time. So instead of deleting the user, we just disable the user so that in case we do want them back at a later time, we just enable them again. But to, to the user, it will look like they've deleted. Uh, okay, so enough with that let me put big integer here big integer there big integer there a row is going to have a variable character because we you know i think the longest uh, name for a row is moderator moderator so let's count how many those are one two three four five six seven eight nine so i think nine characters is good enough and then disabled is going to be tiny int because it's just one or zero. Let's give it a default value of zero. Disabled is zero, meaning the user is enabled. The rest of these should be fine like this, but make sure we have auto increment on ID and make sure it's a primary key. Okay, so, so far so good, Let, let's save that. Okay, all right, so we have group members now and these are the rows here. So quickly, let's add a uh, some 
index for this because we'll be using all these to search actually we will use all the rows to search here so all of them get an index you get an index you get an index you too get an index okay so so far so good let's continue in the next video